Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, where old news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Boy Hero here, and welcome to Rehash. Thanks so much to Heroic Gaming, who provided our intro. If you'd like to be a BAMF like him, just uh, click down there in the description, and you can do stuff like, you know, give us awesome intros and whatnot so that we can talk about your channel at the end of our episode. Uh, so today we wanted to talk about... <gasps> Gay marriage. Uh, mine's not much better. I want to talk about con Confederate flags. Oh, jeez. So obviously these are two topics that neither one of us really ever assumed that we would be covering. And there are definitely things that we want to be kind of careful about. But we, we it's news. Now normally we aren't known for hard-hitting journalism. But <laughs> since there's such yeah. trending topics right now... Um, and there's so much information kind of floating around, around, you know, in the U.S. and abroad about this, we figured that we would help fill you in. So this is us very uncomfortably talking about... Yeah, throughout the whole episode. Things, yes. Yeah, gay so, gay marriage. So, uh, gay marriage has been lifted. And do you not... Gay marriage has been lifted? Yeah. Like it's been lifted. Like it, they, they, they lifted. In the United States of America. And America. Murk. So people Murk. are no longer allowed to get gay married? No, everybody, everybody can get married. Same-sex marriage. Okay. Um, from what I understand, this was a, uh, a decision made by the Supreme Court of the United right. States that the bans on um, same-sex marriages have been lifted uh, and found unconstitutional. Um, and I also understand that people are um, still kind of fighting this issue. Yeah, I know and that some states are actually still fighting it. They're still trying to resist. Yeah, yeah it uh, seems like this is not the last we're going to hear about it. There are a lot of people celebrating this right now. However, this uh, kind of reminds me of the celebrations uh, about the Affordable Health Care Act. I think that we're <laughs> not done hearing about people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so officially, Wait, because of this, one. because of this, we can now remove this pillow between us. Uh, put another one right there. Denied. So my topic is equally cringe-worthy, the rebel flag of the United States. That's the Confederate flag. Um, there's been a lot of um, hubbub, if you will, about this. Now, the Confederate flag has never been something, or at least for a very, very, very long time, it's never been something that's been uh, exceedingly popular. Right. It's been something, you know, that kind of harkens back to an era in our history as Americans that most of us aren't very proud of. But for the most part, I mean, it was, it's pretty much socially acceptable, or, or, or it was acceptable. There, there was a section, you know, there, um, the Dukes of Hazard era. Right. Where, it accepted, yeah. where it was, I wouldn't necessarily say accepted, but it was, um, you know, kind of seen as right. something that people are just <laughs> like, eh, whatever. Yeah. However, um, it's become, you know, uh, the topic of the nation yet again, now that stores are banning merchandise, um, dealing with this, and there are even further deeply political reasons why they're doing this. Um, people are hanging uh, these flags at, uh, at grave sites and memorials where they don't really belong. And of course, we don't want to get too deep into the politics, but you in the comments section down below, feel free um, to fill in the holes that maybe we're a little bit too politically correct to discuss. <laughs> right. Um, and let us know how you feel about this. Let us know, um, and also about the the same sex marriages. I mean, we're um, always interested in you know in the freedom family feedback. So by all means, feel free to you know drop a few lines as to you know your thoughts about it. Yeah. Also, keep this in mind. No matter what we say, we are wrong. And if you don't believe us, check the dislike <laughs> bar on this video right now. All right. So on to the comments. Hey, comments. I'm not doing it again. Come on, you gotta keep it going. Just say B. No. Just. B! There we go. Now we can go on the comments. Or we can sit awkwardly for a few more seconds. That's never gonna happen. I mean, why damn it did it, isn't it? So comment number one comes from Media Heads TV. Now we actually- Now, did you know that one is the loneliest number, my friend? Really? It is. Well, Sorry, go ahead. So we featured him in the last episode, the guy that did the awesome, you know, scratch intro? Yeah. So he commented, he said, I have to ask, with both of you having epic radio voices, how does the mic not explode from epicness? See, I don't really understand that because people say, like, I understand people saying that about you, okay? But with me, like, I have way too much girly voice. Like, sometimes I'm like, yeah! Like, I have way too much girly voice for me to consider myself to be, like, to have an epic. Now, if I were sitting here and I were like, at the top of the hour, we'll have. Like, okay, <laughs> I get that, okay? Yeah. But I, my, my natural speaking voice, I don't get it. I appreciate all the compliments. But I don't understand it. Neither do I, but I mean, we can ex. 
Sorry about that. Hashtag abuse. freedom abuse. Yeah. It happens. It's, it's Sorry, you were saying. Back to the comment. So he, he said, you know, you guys, uh, he said, how does the mic not explode? Wait, is the mic intact? Because we keep the microphone above us and not directly in front of us, right. the epicness is, it's, it's refracted epicness. Right, so it's actually hitting the microphone, it's like going under it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then I've actually got three comments I'm overachieving today. Hey, let's but go. But to make up for the fact that I'm overachieving, we're actually going to give you no context as to what these three are about. Right. Uh, we're going to, uh, from Team TSTO, says, Thanks for clearing up the misunderstanding. Seems pretty interesting. Again, no context. Oh, mystery. Um, Heroic Gaming, who provided our intro today, says, Wow! <laughs> what? Um, Tech Talk, Android and PC Gaming, says, I knew that. It's strange how people oh. misconstrue your words. Oh! What is that about? <laughs> and last but not least, oh wait, I've exceeded three, haven't I? Too bad. No, 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 go, go, last go, go. but not least, on, this is awesome. I'm super excited for this. We're yes. gonna We're going to pretend that those were comments f for us, and we're awesome. Actually, that's a, that's a record. Five comments. Actually, this is uh, this is from George's video about the IP. Five comments in one video. Yeah. Five. Five. Actually, my my five. Wait, wait. How many did I do? Four, didn't you? And you did one. Yeah. Is that five? Four, and then. So yeah, I, I don't know what else to talk about. Yeah, there's nothing more to talk about. Okay. No, but actually, we have the, the channel spotlight. We're gonna talk about the guy that made the introduction. Heroic gaming. Hey. B. C. I die a little bit inside. <laughs> yes. I die a little bit inside every time we do that. All right. So heroic gaming. Okay. Heroic gaming. Heroic gaming. Um, he actually has been doing um, a let's play of uh, a game that um, our very own Brittany has been doing on Impulse. Life is strange. Everybody's covering that game. It is so popular. I, w I almost kind of want to check it out You're now. Right. I almost want to play it. Um, but he's been covering that game, and there's one thing that really yes. struck me as odd. Yes. Like uh, you'll remember, we covered uh, the Shia LaBeouf meme thing that's been going around. He actually took that. And he made it look like Shia LaBeouf was coaching a woman to jump off the roof of a building. <laughs> and she did. <laughs> so what I want you to do in, in, the, in the description down below, you'll see a link to his video. I want you to go check that out. And spam And rehash. spam him with rehash. hashtag rehash. Let him know that he's been spot lit, spotlighted, spot lit, spot spotlitified. And yeah. So I guess that's about all we have to do today. Or is this me just... Say, uh, do, do we have I, that? No, I think that's pretty much all we have to talk about, to my knowledge. All right. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, guys.